Hi guys, PJ here. Today I'm going to be installing a Road Angel into a Land Rover Discovery TD4. This is a 2014 model and we're going to be using the manufacturer's power cable, okay, which is a nice straightforward way of doing this. So you've got no mess, you don't take up your skirt lighter socket plugging it in. We're just going to be routing this directly from the fuse box right away to the right hand corner of the window screen so it sits at the bottom there it's tucked out of the way so i'm going to be showing you what power sockets i'm going to be using where to where fit etc and obviously popping this onto the window screen but there we go so let's move on guys and have a look where the fuse box is well it's in there it's behind the glove box so to get to this fuse box, basically there's your glove box and you press down on both these tabs, there's one each side, I'll show you the other one, there it is, look, press those down and the lid falls forward, giving you a nice diagram there of everything in your fuse box and it's basically right back there. Now the other thing we're going to do to get this kit working is pull the side panel off and you do that by pulling the rubber seal forward and we're going to get a pry leverage tool in here to pop the cover off. First things first we're going to start by popping this little trim off. It's on a little stub there look, yes yeah, so that's on there and it pops off. You take that out of the way. You can use a plastic leverage tool such as this type of thing, yeah, to sort of pop it off. These are available uh, eBay, Amazon, normally about a pound, so well worth doing. If you use a screwdriver, you'd probably put dints in it, so I wouldn't do that. The reason we're popping it off is because it accesses some nice bolts that we can use for an earthing point. So we're going to put our cable earthed to this bolt. I'll show you the cable. This is the cable that comes in the box, and basically on one end, we have micro USB to power the actual item. Move that out of the way. And on the other end, it's really simple, guys. We've got a plus and a minus so the black wire is going to go behind the bolt i've just shown you sorry about the background noise guys but uh being mobile we do have to do this stuff wherever we sort of sent so uh, yeah can't avoid that the other one here is a power and we're going to use the fuse box to power that now the kit comes with all these different fuse spurs now what a fuse spur is is a socket doubler move that one out of the way so you pull a fuse out after testing, which I'll show you shortly, and you've got a two or three amp fuse just there to run, you know, like a dash cam, or in this case, the Road Angel. And the original fuse you pulled out goes in the socket next to it. So it's basically like a little fly lead that comes off for your power, and the fly lead pushes into there to give you power. Always check your cable length, make sure there's enough length to go round to where you want it to go. On certain camper vans, etc., these things are never long enough, and that is a bit of a pain in the neck. So you want to measure up and make sure your cable's long enough before you route it. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put this black wire behind the bolt that I've just shown you, and then we'll look at the fuse box side for the power. And there we go. There's our earth cable, earthed behind the bolt there, nice and securely, and we're going to take the power cable through and behind and pop it out where the fuse box is. Okay guys, bit of an update then, so here's your power cable that we threaded through from the side. We've used this fuse here, which is basically a 20 amp, it's ignition switch, so the power goes on and off depending if the ignition is on or off, which is what you need. To test that, you are going to need like a multimeter or one of those screwdriver test probes where they light up when something's powered. So what you're gonna do basically is, if, you know, if you've got a multimeter, you probably know this, but earth your black cable out. And then what you're gonna do with the ignition off is touch the top of the fuse, say this one next to it, look, yeah. With the ignition off, if that's showing no power on your display, then you know that that's a dead fuse. When you turn your ignition on, then basically it should be showing over 12 volts, yeah, on your little screen there. So basically that's showing you that with the ignition on, it's powered the fuse, which is why I've used this one here. So we've pulled the fuse out, popped it in the fuse spur next to the fuse that powers the device, and then you've got, oops, sorry, you've got your power feed here coming off the fuse box without disturbing any of the manufacturer stuff, without doing any complicated soldering or anything like that. So it's fully fit and forget. You can reverse it if the vehicle's on lease or such like, no damage to the car at all. 
Right, next up, with that bit done, we're now going to try and run the cable to the driver's side of the car where the Road Angel is situated. Now, I chose to run the power cable upwards, okay? You can go down and through the middle of the centre console, that is possible, but the power cable on this vehicle was long enough to go up and over. So we've run it up the side of the screen pillar here, and then we've popped it behind the airbag that sits in there. Look, you see the airbag? Pop it behind the airbag. And then it comes out here and basically runs along the top of the windscreen all the way along until we drop down to the driver's side. Okay guys, we're now on the driver's side of the vehicle. So this is the same trim you were looking at on the other side. The power cables run down from the top of the windscreen underneath here and then pops out conveniently where your road angel is going to go. So what we've got to do now is plug that in the road angel and make sure it powers up. Well, we've got a power light, just let me pop the ignition on. There we go. So yeah, successful installation. You've got power there, it is charging up. The battery's obviously flat at the minute and it's gonna to continue to charge and that will work. So guys, that is how you power your Road Angel from the fuse box on one of these vehicles. All the vehicles are obviously gonna be similar. Use the same basics, test your fuses, get the manufacturer's fitting kit and away you will go. Any questions regarding this video, contact your supplier of the product or you know your local garage, etc. But hopefully this has been of some use somewhere to someone. Thanks for watching, bye for now.